very much, Ignacio. I'm very glad to uh, be able to talk here uh, about ethics and globalization. Um, As far as I uh, recollect from our exchange via email, we have an uh, interesting situation there. Stefano Romani will play the part of the philosopher, at least uh, in some respect, and I do a bit of economics uh, if, I, if I succeed. Um, in, in, in economics, from a philosophical point of view, for a long time, an argument was valid which was running along the following lines. If there is any market failure, it has nothing to do with ethics or morality. It's not the case that the agents, the economic agents, are guilty of market failure in any kind of moral respect. Now I think this argument is not valid any longer. And I just pick out one problem where you might see, at least I hope you can see, what I'm aiming at. It's the financial crisis we are uh, presently experiencing. I don't believe in generalized accusations where people who are involved in the economic process are accused of being nasty, greedy, or whatever. I think we, if, we, if we want to exchange views and arguments about morality or ethics, we should pick out, first pick out the facts and analyze the facts and then see what we can argue economically or philosophically. Now the first point is I think the financial crisis has revealed an unprecedented lack of responsibility and fairness of investment banks towards their own customers, towards taxpayers, and the global markets. And the uh, issue I'm addressing is derivatives. Now, many of you will have heard of derivatives. I hope not bought them, but heard of them. Um, and I just want to give you a brief account of what derivatives are. Warren Buffett the famous investor, the richest man in the world, at least uh, based on what he did himself, called it the weapons of mass, mass destruction. Weapons of mass destruction. Heavily against it. What are derivatives? We normally would assume the derivatives are investments of some sort. In a way it's true, but in a normal investment we gain some kind of property although it may sort of be a property which is going up and down all the time, uh, but it's, it's, a, it's a property. Like we have property rights before. Derivatives are not that sort of property at all. Derivatives are working like bets. Bets of uh, the type we know, lotto, whatever we have. We, we, have it. we can bet on anything. You know, we, can, we can sort of bet uh, uh, on, on the, on the uh, respected facts, uh, who is the first person to leave this room? Is it a female or a male? And you know, a friend in the last row who was sort of bored by my talk might have a bet on that. And everybody knows uh, what that means. If you, are, if you are betting on anything, you know that you don't have any guaranteed uh, income or or. Uh, gain or whatever, uh, you, you, you pay a certain sum, and if, it, if the, the uh, event you're betting on happens, you get some, some sort of interest, and if it doesn't happen, you lose your money. Now, that's the way derivatives function. They function like bets, not like investments. And my point is that although they function like bets, uh, the way bets are used uh, in our world, uh, the uh, rules for use for the use of bets are not recognized in this type of uh, game. 
there is not any fairness uh, involved. The uh, gamblers don't know what they are expecting. And it's in a way not even the case that uh, people who go, go in or invest for, for a bet have any chance at all to win anything. In economic theory, uh, this is well known uh, under the headline of Dutch books. Nothing against you, you know. It's just a, <laughs> just a name. A Dutch book is uh, in, in, in game theory uh, a structure, uh, a game structure where only one person can win, and it's guaranteed that he wins, that only he wins. And this is based on. Uh, uh, an antagonistic or even uh, contradictory way to uh, to offer parameters. I don't want to go into details. You can you can read books about it. But I think there are some very clever people who learned their their lessons in economic theory, and they thought, why not practice it in reality?